welcome back to my channel my name is Karen Mary and this is episode 5 of the make Sember series today I am showing you how to create DIY felt patches it's pretty easy all you're gonna need is felt scissors embroidery thread and a pencil you can also use a pen keep it thin so do not use sharpie or you can also use a a erasable marker but this is what i'm using to create my shapes you can make any shapes this be limitless keep your mind flowing also you can just print inspiration from in pinterest like i feel like those popular posters from like matisse shapes you can use those motifs i kept it simple with clouds a heart an eye very basic shapes that are just fun whimsical and just an easy way to customize your clothes like we said we're here to lead we are the sun we are not shadows so we're making our clothing stand out and speak for itself and by keeping it creative we're making it more custom and artistic to speak our own creative voice so keep it simple don't compliment don't complicate yourself just do simple shapes like this heart another tip that i suggest is if that is that if you want to keep it simple you can take the felt fold it in half draw the shape that you want in half and then you can cut it and keep it even this way it's just a nice simple easy way to not like if if you're if you're if you're perfectionist this is such an easy way to keep it even personally i'm not i just like your voice your fluyo i just let it be and i'm having even the stars that didn't come out perfect <laughs> to be honest and yeah that's pretty much my shapes the cloud the heart the star a circle no need to go crazy over it next up is the jacket i'm using a jacket but you can also do this on jeans on a shirt on a sweater any clothing and what you want to do is arrange the shapes in the, wherever you want want them to lay down then you're going to take your pins or you can also use safety clips and place them in the location that you want it pin everything use a safety pin actually i used the pin and now and i regret using pins because i kept poking myself use safety pins there's different shapes there's some that are small medium and some that curve the safety pins that curve are used for quilting get those they're the best and it's so easy to to remove the safety pin that way for making last minute diy upcycle gifts i love it Oh, and you can also do this with letters. I should have said oh, I should have said that with letters. So let's say you want a name or you want a phrase. You can cut out the letters in felt and then attach it. So after pinning, what I do is I use a running stitch. I'm using regular thread, but as I showed you in the beginning, you can use embroidery thread. The only difference is that embroidery thread is thicker, so it's going to show. I wanted it to be invis invisible. So I'm using regular sewing thread and I am just going along the felt at the edge, not too, too close to the edge where it might just not so not attach, just like right in the middle, not too far, not too close, keeping it nice, simple running stitch. And then the way I end my stitch is that I take my needle and I bring it to the back. Then I do a back stitch by doing a back stitch and then doing a few running stitches in the back. I secure the stitch in there and then I cut the thread off. That's it. It's very simple. You don't have to like after doing one and then running a few stitches in the back, you're done. It's that simple and you can arrange it or you can arrange it any way you want. You can do any shapes. You can do phrases, letters. It's so many options with this. This is my current DIY crush because there's so many different ways. I just did a heart and then cloud to show you how to get started. This is a recipe for many more to come. So stay tuned, comment below what you love about this DIY, what you loved the most about the Make Semper series. Subscribe to the channel, give the video a like, subscribe, click on the notification bell to be notified whenever I upload new videos. I upload tutorials, vlogs as I bring you along in my upcycling journey and low waste lifestyle, making it a holistic, fashion together and make sure to follow me on my instagram at Style to learn more about like my journey my culture la cultura um more of the voice behind Style squad you can always dm me on instagram any questions pictures any feedback that you might need to repair embellish upcycle your clothes i am here to help